Yeah, you can hear me now. This right here, I had to double do this because I run out of time. I was talking too much crap. You can see this, there's dirt there. Cigarette butts don't fall through. None of that kind of crap. Let me pick this cigarette butt up. See, it is a regular, ordinary cigarette butt. But if you look at this, there's a big fucking hole there. I wonder what happens when, there's your perspective. I wonder what happens when all of the shit gets washed out of this in downpours and gully washers. You think there's gonna be a sinkhole around here? Huh? You think all them cracks in that fucking wall right there and shit are all covered up with some fucking adobe plaster shit? Huh? Do you think that? Do you think any of that shit? Hmm? Think you can hide it from me? You can't hide shit from me. I'm posting a video later of a house with a motherfucking big giant dip in the floor. Then there's fucking houses around here with trampoline floors. Yeah. We got bouncy houses around here. Y'all like that, don't you kids? Mommy and daddy buy a bouncy house for about $40,000 or $50,000. And then you want to know what? <laughs> you got a big expensive bouncy house that whenever you try to resell it, they worth $10,000. Because anybody with a lick of sense is going to find that shit around here because they're hiding it. These motherfucking giving my dad tax breaks and shit my whole fucking life. When it hurts me, they want to fuck me. Yeah. That's it. Right there. There you go. Everywhere. Everywhere you go. That's the way it is. Oh, look. They're buddies and stuff. And you got some blonde chick rolling around in a wheelchair. Yeah, they're trying to tell me to, to uh, walk. And all this crap. I should be riding in a car. If these motherfuckers couldn't fix my car, then they're gonna come steal my shit off of it and stuff like that and talk about you can't handle no more help and you can't do this, you can't do that. Uh, you're totally wrong. When the fuck is this that I can't handle no help and everybody wants to talk shit about we're the problem. I, I'm a smoker. I gotta pay more taxes than anybody else in this motherfucking country just on fucking a pack of cigarettes. I can't even afford to smoke them with a goddamn filter on them. But then on top of that, I can't even afford to smoke them once. I have to smoke them twice. Sometimes three times. Oh look, it's all cracked. It's like crack magazine and mad magazine going off all at once on each other. That's right, do you hear me? Oh my brothers, do you hear me? My Christian brothers. I'm Creflo Dollar, I got, I got a bazillion dollars. Oh, I'm, I'm Kenneth Copeland. Yeah, how much is Kenneth worth? Is he worth as much of a truck? No, he is worth as much as what? Hmm? What? He's worth a fucking billion dollars. Do you see where I'm walking? This used to be <laughs> a building here. These buildings just fell in. Some of them were burnt and fell in. <laughs> and they were burning and falling in because of either a kid or something. Same thing with the other. That's right. All of you. That's the way this country is. You know? You hear me? And then the car lot can go over there. And then when I go down to the car lot, they can be all fucking trick bagging me from that grocery store over there, GNW Foods, and have me go up there so they can fuck with me. And then whenever I go up to the other car lot, <laughs> and I'm talking about, well, I have to go and see if I can get this woman to send me my money. <laughs> and they's laughing at me as I go out the door. That's right, because they ain't going to send me my money. They're going to do whatever they want to do and tell me what to do, and they don't have to do nothing but whatever they want to do. Just like whenever I was in prison and that TV was fucking broke that I got, and the bitch was fucking making pr uh, prison jokes about how that's what they all say, you know? Yeah, and then whenever they found out and looked at the video that I didn't bust the motherfucker, that my back was in between the door and the TV, how in the hell could I break it when I went through the door and I never dropped it on the ground? <laughs> You know? And then when they went back through and they found the box and they had a big hole in the damn thing. Then we said, oh, well, we'll get you another TV and I got to sit and wait for two or three months for them to get me one. But that's okay. You know, and with that attitude, you know, that curled up bullshit, like when you step in dog shit. Or that woman, that sarcastic, snidey look that she has talking about the kids. Just like my ex-old lady used to play the games with me. Hey, don't nobody care. As long as they don't do that shit in front of a judge, they get whatever they want. <coughs> I get nothing. Just like when my mom was threatening suicide, my sister and my motherfucking nephew and his old lady come over to the house and motherfucking tried to beat her up and motherfucking was going through the room to set me up for fucking weed. Yeah. 
of course, that might have been just a game. You know? Because I tried to tell that dude down there in motherfucking uh, Dallas what the fuck was going on. That, that was probably just a game. Because what he did was he went and talked to them, and then he was all like, well, this is this dude's mom and dad. He must be full of shit. Yeah. And they told me that, that, that he was molested whenever he was a kid. He's been doing this all along. 